Welcome to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you, throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, the dark garbage man. Welcome to True Island Stories. This is part three of the Jamaican butcher, the untold stories of Natty Morgan. Natty's men scattered like wildfire. They bought the bait, but not all. Some stood their ground, returning the fire bravely so that their general could escape. But Natty would not leave without a piece of the action. He too held firm and returned the fire. Boom, 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 brrr, boom, 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 boom. The sky lit up with gunfire. Spoongy had no choice but to beat a hasty retreat and slither away under the cover of darkness. But not before picking up a bullet in his bright butt cheek from Nathaniel's gun. Spoongy laid in the bush with a bullet in his butt in severe pain on the muffled scream as one of Natty's men walked right towards his direction. This was the moment. Kill or be killed. As Spoongy held one hand on his gun and one hand on his butt cheek. Spoongy lay dead still in the bushes as the gunman's footsteps came ever so closer towards him. He knew he had the drop on the gunman, but he also knew that's given away his position, and he was almost certain they figured out he was alone. The gunman walked so close to Spongy, he could touch him. Spongy bit his lip in pain and frustration, saying to himself, Motherfucker, why they don't even know how lucky he is in our yo, if I were you? I would have given my life to the lad earlier, man, in as fall put her in her jaws and cock fuck it off. Spongy laid motionless until he was convinced the gang had dispersed. Then he came out of his hiding and hobbled across the bridge to his car. When he reached there, there was no lipo in sight. Spongy drove himself to the hospital. When the hospital porters came to get him, they heard a loud knocking coming from the trunk of his car. When they opened it, <laughs> there was Mr. Brave, Mr. Lippo, neatly tucked in like a spare tire in the trunk. Not a Chris Morgan, however, was nothing to play with. He killed men, women, and he killed kids. He had no disparity. To him, they were all statistics. Bad Indian, as he was called, was a good youth from Patrick City. His mom was involved intimately with one of my friend's dad who lived in Corville Gardens and Riverton City. I would oftentimes see Bad Indian come through on my block. His sister and I was in the same class, primary school. Bad Indian was a kid who didn't speak much. He didn't really hang out with us either. He would stop by his stepdad in Corville, sometimes walk past, said hi, and went straight over Riverton City area, aka the Badlands. Bad Indian had an older brother who, though, used to hang out with us, who we called Chinaman. Chinaman was a cool dude who always gave the younger kids like me positive advice. He used to always tell us, you know, stay out of trouble, stay in school. But one New Year's Eve, Chinaman and his friend got into an altercation with this cat from Waterhouse. Real gangster place, Waterhouse. They were all at Squad 51. It was a famous New Year's Eve ball. An altercation developed among him and his friends and the dude who I will call Bertie. Chinaman and his friends chased Bertie for about 800 meters till they reached exactly an hour block down the bottom of Corville. They gained on him and Chinaman rose his kitchen bitch to cut Bertie. Without looking around, still in strides, Bertie felt Chinaman breathing down his neck. He quickly took out his knife from the front of his waist, and Chinaman did not see it coming. Bertie, without stopping or looking back, just swung his knife, and it caught Chinaman right in his throat and opened a big gash, severing his jugular. Chinaman kept on running after Bertie without even realizing he was injured. He then started losing blood, lots of it, which took his toll on him, weakened him. He fell to the ground and bled out before help arrived. Frankly, he was dead once the knife landed on his neck. 
Bertie managed to escape the mob and turn himself into the cops the following day. Chinaman's death was investigated and ruled self-defense, and no charges were laid against Bertie. I don't remember what started the fight, but what all of us knew that both men were violent men on a day-to-day -day basis. Only if they had gotten a chance to be friends, they probably would have been best of friends. But liquor makes some of us do strange things. Chinaman's little brother Bad Indian became Natty's apprentice in the interim. He started out by running little errands here and there, pulling down guns now and again, cleaning them. Till he got promoted to lookout. He gradually progressed and rose through the ranks till he had his own personal machine, a Walter PPK Saturday night special handgun. He would go on jobs with the boss where he proved on many occasions that though he was young, he earned his position in the gang, and that in itself was no easy feat. He had to exhibit a certain level of animalistic ruthlessness in which he duly obliged with effortless ease. Despite Bad Indian's high propensity for violence, his brain was still underdeveloped. Experience would have taught him when thou rollest with Natty Morgan, it is totally and utterly forbidden to mix or switch allegiance. And Bad Indian committed the cardinal sin by doing just that. Bad Indian started hanging out with Prince Mike, who was also a feared OG in those parts. Natty and Prince Mike had a mutual respect for each other. They both collected extortion money from several industrial factories on the outskirts of the city, Riverton City. All had to pay. It was a known secret. Natty got hemmed up though on some serious gun charge. I was looking on the barrel of a length sentence. So he asked Prince Mike to take over the collections at the factories, you know, and take his share and send it to him at the gun code correctional facilities. Prince Mike sent Natty a message telling him some choice words, including, the only way you get your money from me you now is if you escape and come for the money over my dead cadaver. To my knowledge, gun court was like Fort Knox. It was tightly secured and heavily guarded at all times based on the nature of the crimes of the incarcerated offenders, which were all gun-related, hence the name gun court. Prince Mike did not realize the nature of the BC at Double Cross. And two days after his ill-fated message, Natty Murder Morgan was free. Not by free will, but by force. Natty and his cronies concocted an ingenious plan in which the guard was given an ultimatum. Plato or Plomo. And he rightly chose Plato. But Indian was summoned when Natty found his footing in the Riverton City. Natty had seen Bad Indian's cousin the day before and asked him if he had seen Bad Indian. He told Natty, no, and asked, why, what happened? Natty told him nothing, he was just sending one a vacation because he deserved it. See, Bad Indian was hanging out with Prince Mike. You don't do that. Mm -mm. That was a no-no cookie in the Badlands. He told him he was sending him, you know, far in. I mean, <laughs> very far in to death. Blacks, which was Bad Indian's cousin, didn't think much of it at the time, except for the fact that he said to himself, vacation. But it's not like y'all had jobs to go on vacation. But he left it at like that. Bad Indian was held by Natty and his crew, and it was said his head was completely decapitated from his body, and the rest of his body dismembered and buried different parts in the swamp lands. They never found an ounce of Bad Indian or a piece of his garment. Natty made sure of it. It was said Natty's heart was on the right hand side of his chest. He was evil to the one thousand power. He not only had a taste for murder, but gruesome murder was his forte. And he had an insatiable appetite for blood, gore, and raw human flesh. That was indescribable by his counterparts. We have come to the end of part three of the Jamaican butcher, the untold stories of Natty Morgan. Join us soon for part four of 
the Jamaican butcher. And please be sure to smash that like button, like and share, and subscribe to be notified promptly as the series continues. I am joy. Papa, you know the real J Tender. Huh? How I go? Sometimes the road tough side slow. Huh. Real patriots never buck, never fall. How oh, yeah. they get hurt? That's why. Talk from the boy when I do that. Sure. Who the can't tell me John? Who from the store? Who know? Wrong door. Yeah. And a man bust the shot and have a pack of fun to it Mind it on him head back and to it Up off his job and his friend in the door None of that man You know a scam shot That's how the ground work here yeah? Power Married to corruption Criminal Break from all the pit options Ten generation I see the set down one one hit on the level and me and one Don't forever be right now that me and one And good and his politician me and one Get a rose, Brazilian castle Talk from the boy on a door Door Oh no can't tell me jack Oh no door Who from the store don't know what I'm doing Yo, yo Now I run back a door And a man bust the shot to have a back up and door Mind the man in head back and door Pop off his shop and his friend in the door None of that you are man better Things risky, trip the mystery Dead trade fit the logistics This, this I want the mystery of crackers spread with whiskey uh -huh. You're not listening uh -huh. Crime leave your search not visiting Visitors careful they know what the business is Murder, plunder, village in who? Bloodshed in all the villages You near me, you will live in it Get Richard with special delivery Nightmare, in comment and images Vengeance, blood aside, you can't get away not Boy you see it, but what it's no revenge Looking at the mirror, there is no difference how in a real friend's talk from the boy I wanna do that Do it! Who no can't tell me cha? Who no do it? Who from your store don't know how to do it? Yup! Now I'm on the top When a man does the shot to have the back up and do it Might be turn him head back and do it Pop off his chop and his friend in the door None of that you are man better No assumption, I saw the ground run Power, married to corruption Criminal, dead from limited options Ten generation, passing the set song One run, hit on the level and Do you want? 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 Do you Come on, 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 come on,